All right, section 11.6 is adding and subtracting rational expressions. And in this uh, section, we're going to do some easy ones where the denominators are already the same. And then we're going to do some tougher ones where we have to uh, change what the denominator is in order to add them. So remembering that you have to have the same thing in the denominator in order to add the fractions is, is, is kind of key. And then just like any problem, uh, that's a fraction problem, the last step is going to be to simplify, which means you have to factor the numerator, factor the denominator, and then cancel the factors, but not the terms. So in this problem, we're just going to add the numerators. So we have 1 minus x plus 3x minus 3. We're going to combine like terms in those numerators. <clears throat> the negative x plus 3x is 2x, and uh, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Now that we have added the numerators together, we're going to simplify which means we're going to factor the numerator, factor the denominator, and cancel the factors. So the 2x minus 2 is going to factor into 2 times x minus 1. That was factor out the common factor. And then the 2x squared minus 7x plus 5 is going to factor into 2x minus 5 times x minus 1. Again, you, uh, you're going to need to have a, a pretty good knowledge of factoring in order to be able to, to handle these problems. Now we're going to cancel the factors. So the x minus 1s get canceled and we end up with our final answer of 2 over 2x minus 5. This is where you have to be careful. This is the, the number one mistake that students are going to make is they're going to try to cancel those 2's. But you've got to remember that the 2 in the denominator is part of a term, and so you cannot cancel that one. Remember, cancel factors, not terms.